My name is Eric Kohler, and I'm here with my grandfather, Charles Kohler, who was a gunnery sergeant from World War II, 4th Marine Division veteran, and a Purple Heart. And I'm going to be asking him a couple of questions for National History Day today, and asking him how he changed the course of history. So, Grandpa, what was the military strategy in having to fight these battles? Well, of course, the strategy was to uh, keep the Japanese from American soil. And the only way we could do it is to island hop all the way to Japan. So we would take and go to one island, Rhinomur, secure that, <clears throat> then we'd go to, to the next island closer to Japan, and that was uh, <clears throat> Saipan. Then we took Tinyan, and then we started bombing Japan from the Tinyan, because it was a long, long uh, trip to go to Japan from Tinyan. But we had to go over Iwo Jima. Why was Iwo Jima so important? Well, it was the last island nearest uh, the uh, enemy. Uh, and I speak of Tokyo. That's where the uh, we could build our own airport and attack the Japs from just 650 miles away. Can you tell me what your job was in battle? Well, our job was to work like. Uh, a, a team, which we've trained to do before we ever got uh, over into battle, of course. Uh, the rifle company would be in front of us and they'd yell tanks, okay? When they yell tanks, that comes to me as a sergeant, and I yell to my men, tanks, left front, left front, they're coming from that left front. Boom, shoot when ready, what I call it. shoot when ready. That was my job. Your last tour of duty was Iwo Jima, but it was short-lived. Can you tell me what happened to you? Short-lived was uh, when I finally got onto the island, that uh, was the fifth uh, wave in, and then they started firing at us, and then we really got hit hard because they couldn't miss. They were had us just uh, uh, hung up, and so we had to just dig down and hope we could get by. Well, we, we didn't get by. I got hit there in, in one of those holes, you know, so... Uh, and my men got killed. What happened was, I heard zing. I could hear the zing, that thing was coming in, I just heard zing and boom. I heard that much, and then everything went And then I, I woke up and there was like uh, stars flashing around, and there was a great big, uh, uh, like a tunnel, and it was bright, and it was going kind of up in the sky, and it was right up in the sky. God, I thought I was dying, you see. And I thought, well, this is the way you die. You know, it just it all went through my head. I, and then all of a sudden, I completely woke up. And then I looked down, and I said, man, I'm hit. I got wounded pretty bad, so I had to crawl off of the, uh, out of there and into the, onto the beach where they took me to a hospital ship. But we had to get that out and out of the way before we could secure uh, uh, the, uh, the job we had to do and, 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 defeat, and defeat Japan. 